What if I told you there was an easier way to talk about risk? In this short video, we're going to talk about how you can analyze your control universe, identify your relevant industry frameworks, scope vendor questionnaires based on your organization's policies, establish a robust contingency plan, evaluate your controls effectiveness, and remediate gaps between internal and external controls in about under five minutes. What we've displayed here is the NICE framework. This framework is, simplifies the communication about technology and how it applies to business. So we have listed here names of teams in the business and we can see what their responsible controls are. Now, if you have watched some of my other videos, I talk about how you have to have protect, <clears throat> preventative, detective, and responsive actions and controls for your organization. Now, if you could give that control a number, you could probably assign it to a grid. And if you could assign it to a grid, you could direct people about how that grid interacts with your business. So let's look at what the threat analysis team is doing. We see here there's not a person on this team, but the last status is in progress. And then we have a description of what they do. And we see that this team is responsible for five primary controls and 30 related controls. That means that this team is managing over 35 programs in your organization, right? That is fits into a system or a component or a mechanism of the information security network. So analyzing our control universe, now we understand what the primary and secondary objectives are, and we can see the validation status. We have validate, we have controls that have been selected, but what is it that's been selected? Literacy training and awareness. I want to know more about that. Oh, now we have contextual awareness about what literacy training is, right? We have a description. We even have discussion questions that we could share with people that are going to come to the meeting. We see that a related control is PM12. Let's take a note of that. Let's say I had a file that I wanted to share some evidence or a resource with the rest of the team. I could come in here and upload it from my computer or from popular cloud services. We could change this status, right, to some other status. And then we can also define the priority. Since we're working on this, let's just start with low priority. We're going to select it. This means it's going to fit into our audit framework when we export this. We did our last update. We could start to define our requirements for literacy training, right? Uh, what org will we work with? Um, and then define the knowledge, skills, and abilities, KSAs, that you want your teams to have um, so they can execute techniques, tactics, and procedures. So these are all linguistical components that fit together. We could write our estimate. Maybe we want to do a quote and we're talking about $40,000. We can define our design elements our implementation, and our project timeline. This is going to replicate across all the teams, again, simplifying the work of your Agile and Scrum teams working between developers and security, right? We can communicate effectively about the goals and objectives of the organization, the business process, over the next seven days. We can assign a team that's responsible for this, our software development team. But you know what? I want to know more. What is our technology R&D team do? Are they the right team to assign here? Well, they conduct technology assessments. And we could see the stuff that they're working on right now. We have contextual awareness of the levels of work that have been assigned to this team. We could determine conflicts of interest, primary and secondary controls, validations of the controls. And we see this team is, yet again, doesn't have a validated control. So that means the system is not necessarily operating as it should be. We have our control description. We have discussion questions that simplify the conversation. We could take this discussion question out, right, by going down here, and we can see there's there's no evidence. We could take all of this and write it into a report and distribute it on our chat ops, Slack, Teams, whatever it is that your organization is using to communicate across these very diverse silos. We could also share an update to the team and um, so we've really understood so much about what's going inside this organization, how many systems, dependencies, components exist, and how intertwined all of these systems are. We haven't sent an email, but we have a clear understanding of where we are and why we're in progress. For this team, complete, we see there's no evidence here, there's no assurance, and there's no communication that's going on. 
So tomorrow we're going to get this team doing something else and get our cyber investigation team with a control and a validation status.